Hi everyone, I am Corey Joe Humphries or WeCG and this is Commander Class. So a few things I want to start off with is welcome to the new office. This is hopefully where people will be able to finally see the command classes from here on out. I've put my pop figures here so people have something to look at if they're finding me a bit boring, but let's get back onto the class. So in the previous class we were talking about the three colour shards and that there is two categories, shards and wedges. So this class will be talking about the wedges of Magic the Gathering. So when it comes to the wedges themselves, I will be telling you the three colours, the primary colour, the two secondary colours, the name of the wedge itself, and at the end I will be talking about the commanders that are most played or most known from that wedge colour, with maybe a possibility of a planeswalker mentioned, because there's not that many wedge planeswalkers in Magic the Gathering. So, the first wedge I will be talking about today is white, black and green, also known as Abzan. When it comes to Abzan, black is the primary colour, with white and green being the two secondary colours of this wedge. When it comes to the Abzan commanders, here is three that I will be talking about right now. Michael, Lord of Bones. For four white, black and a green, you get a legendary creature, God that is a rare. As long as your life total is less than or equal to half of your starting life total, Micro Lord of Bones is indestructible. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, you may exile it. If you do, create a token that's a copy of that card, except for it's an enchantment and loses all other card types, and is a 7-5. Grave, Gur of Spores. For two white, black and a green, you get a legendary creature, Fungus Shaman, that is a mythic. Garver, Gur of Spores, enters the battlefield with five 1-1 one -one counters on it. Tap one, remove a 1-1 one -one counter from a creature you control, create a 1-1 one -one green sapling creature token. Tap one, sacrifice a creature. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature, and it is a 0-0. Zero, zero. Carador, Ghost Chieftain. For 5 white, black, and a green, you get a legendary creature, Centaur Spirit. That is a mythic. This spell, this spell costs 1 less to cast for each creature card in your graveyard. Once during each of your turns, you may cast a creature spell from your graveyard, and it's a 3-4. Now, when it comes to the Absan Planeswalkers, sadly, there is none. So now that we have Absan out of the way, the second wedge we will be talking about is Blue, Red, White, also known as Jeskai. When it comes to the Jeskai primary colour, it is red with blue and white being the two secondary colours. If you can't tell at this stage, the primary colour is usually the centre colour, with the two secondary colours being the two at the side. When it comes to Jeskai commanders, I will be talking about three of them that are well known, well played, and one very hated. Narset Enlightened Master for three blue, red, and a white. You get a legendary creature, Human Monk, that is, is a mythic. She has first strike and hexproof. Whenever Narset Enlightened Master attacks, exile the top four cards of your library until end of turn. You may cast non creature cards exile this way without paying their mana cost. And she's a 3 2. Elsha of the Infinite for two blue, red, and a white. You get a legendary creature. Jin Monk, that is a rare. It has Pares. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may cast non-creature spells from the top of your library. If you cast a spell this way, you may cast it as though it had flash. And the monk is a 3-3. Three, three. Kaikar, Wind's Fury. For one blue, red, and a white, you get a legendary creature, Bird Wizard, that is a mythic. It has flying. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. Sacrifice a spirit, add a red mana, and it is a 3-3. Three, three. And then when it comes to the Jeskai Planeswalkers, there is one, and I will be mentioning her right now. Narset of the Ancient Ways. For one blue, red, and a white, you get a legendary Planeswalker Narset that is a mythic. She starts on four. Plus one, you gain two life. Add blue, red, or white. Spend this mana to cast non-creature spells. Minus two. Draw a card. Then you may discard a card. When you discard a non-land card this way, Narset, the Narset of the Ancient Ways deals damage equal to the card's converted mana cost to target creature or planeswalker. Then minus six, you get an emblem. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this emblem deals two damage to any target. The third wedge I will be talking about is black, green, blue, also known as Sultai. When it comes to Sultai, green is the primary colour, with black and blue being the secondary colours. 
So here are three commanders that are in Sultai with one probably being the best graveyard recursion commander in the game. Majolta the Gravetide for three black, green and a blue you get a legendary creature, Elemental Avatar that is a mythic. During each of your turns you may play a land and cast a permanent spell for each permanent type from your graveyard and she's a 6-6. Six, six. Zaxara the Exampler for one black, green and a blue you get a legendary creature, Nightmare Hydra that is a mythic. It has Death Touch, it has Tap, a two manner of any one colour. Whenever you cast a spell with X in its mana cost, create a 0-0 zero, zero green Hydra creature token, then put X-1-1 one, one counters on it, and it is a 2-3. Cardena Slinkin Sorcerer, for one black, green and a blue, you get a legendary creature, Naga Wizard, that is a mythic. The first face down creature spell you cast each turn costs three less. Whenever a face down creature enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card and she's a 3 3. And when it comes to Sultai Planeswalkers, unfortunately there isn't one yet, which I'm kind of surprised about. Next, we will be talking about Red, White, Black, also known as Mardu. When it comes to the primary color of Mardu, it is white, with red and black being the two secondary colors. And then when it comes to the Mardu Commanders, here is three, but one of them I recommend getting the Judge promo because it is absolutely beautiful. Edgar Markov, for three red, white and a black, you get a legendary creature, Vampire Knight, that is a mythic. It has elements. Whenever you cast another vampire spell, if Edgar Markov is in the command zone or on, or on the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one black vampire creature token. Edgar has first strike and haste. Whenever Edgar attacks, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each vampire you control, and Edgar is a 4-4. Kalir of the Vast. For one red, white, and a black, you get a legendary creature, human cleric, that is a mythic. She has flying. Whenever Kalir of the Vast attacks an opponent, you may put an angel, demon, or dragon creature card from your hand on the battlefield tapped and attacking that opponent and she is a 2-2. Queen Machesa for one red, white and a black you get a legendary creature, human assassin that is a mythic. She has death, touch and haste. Whenever Queen Machesa enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. At the beginning of your upkeep, if an opponent is the monarch, put a 1-1 black assassin creature token with death, touch and haste onto the battlefield, and she is a 3-3. And then when it comes to planeswalkers, luckily, one has been made recently and here she is on screen now. Narset of the Ancient Ways, for one blue, red and a white you get a legendary planeswalker Narset, that is a mythic. She starts on four, plus one you gain two life, add blue, red or white, spend this mana to cast non-creature spells, minus two, draw a card, then you may discard a card. When you discard a non-land card this way, Narset, the Narset of the Ancient Ways deals damage equal to the card's converted mana cost to target creature or planeswalker. Then minus six, you get an emblem. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this emblem deals two damage to any target. And the final wedge I will be talking about is green, blue, red, also known as Teamer. When it comes to the primary color, it is blue with green and red are the sides or secondary colors. When it comes to the commanders of Teamer, here are three on screen now, and one of them I have as a commander. Could you guess who it is? Miram Sentinel Worm, for three green, blue, and a red, you get a legendary creature, Dragon Spirit, that is a rare. It has flying and ward two. Whenever another non-token dragon enters the battlefield under your control, create a token that's a copy of it, except for the token isn't legendary if that dragon is legendary, and it is a six hit. Anima, Soul of Elements, for a green, blue, and a red, you get a legendary creature, Elemental, that is a mythic. It has protection from white and black. Whenever a creature, whenever you cast a creature spell, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Anima, Soul of Elements. Creature spells you cast cost one less for each 1-1 one, one counter on Anima, and Anima is a 1-1. One, one. Riku of the Two Reflections, for two green, blue, and a red, you get a legendary creature, Human Wizard, that is a mythic. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, you may play a blue and red. If you do, copy that spell. You may choose new target for the copy. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may tap a green and blue. If you do, create a token. That's a copy of the creature and it's a 2-2. And then when it comes to team of planeswalkers, there is one, and I'm kind of shocked because I thought he only had two colours until I researched this. Sarkhan Unbroken, for two green, blue and a red, you get a planeswalker called Sarkhan. He is a mythic, he sat on four loyalty, he has a plus one, draw a card and add one mana of any colour to your mana pool. Minus two, 
put a 4-4 red dragon creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Then minus 8, search your library for any number of dragon creature cards and put them onto the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. So now you know all the wedges when it comes to Magic the Gathering and a few commanders that you're able to play yourself. Which commander would you pick for your first commander deck? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, while you're down there, remember to like, subscribe and follow all my other social media because it'll be in the link below. So when it comes to the commander class, I really enjoyed making these classes. So next week, we will be talking about the four colours of Magic the Gathering and I will be doing the same with the Planeswalkers of the Commanders that is in the four colours and then we're going on Wooburg. So let me know in the comments down below what classes you would like to know or if there's any topics you would like me to bring up in smaller classes or eventually do a bigger one on let me know in the comments down below and i will see you in the next video